Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and today I want to talk to you guys about ND filters and circular polarizers. Why is that important and on my brain right now? Well, as many of you know, I just purchased the new Sony AX53 camcorder, which we're filming on right now. And as a mid-tier product, Sony has decided that, in their great wisdom, this product should not have a built-in ND filter. What that means is that this camera, you cannot control shutter speed, gain, or aperture at any given time. You can only pick one of those three and control it. The other two will then go to auto mode. And what happens when shooting in bright sunlight is this camera will then pick a shutter speed of 1 500th of a second or faster. And all of your video footage will get a real stuttered, jittery, sharp, edgy look to it. It's not good and it's not pleasant to watch and you will actually get eye strain from watching that. People just say, oh, this doesn't look right. So what I wanted to tell you guys about is I found a really fantastic deal right now at Henry's on a set of filters for this camera that most people will not find because it's not for this product. It's listed for the GoPro 3 and I want to show you guys that. What it is is a set of three filters, two ND filters and a circular polarizer and then you get the kit for mounting it on a GoPro Hero 3. I actually own a GoPro Hero 3, so for me this was a no-brainer to buy. The kit usually costs $110. Right now it's on sale for $34, and it's exactly what I wanted for this camera. If you just go purchase a top quality ND filter, you're probably going to be around $50 just for one ND filter. Why don't you want to buy a cheaper one? Because one of two things can happen. You will get an off color to your video. The cheaper ones, whatever coating they put on there, it's not supposed to change the look, the white balance of your video, but the cheaper ones often do. And the second thing you're going to get is distortion along the outside edges. The further from the center of your frame, uh, with the cheap ones, you're going to lose uh, clarity in the image. So they're, they just use cheap plastic in there, and that's not good either. So you always want to buy the best filters you can afford. And for me, I did a lot of research for my photography. I always buy Tiffin ND filters, which are very highly rated, and I've never had an issue. And that's what comes with this GoPro set. The actual price is still on there, $109.99. And it's called the Blur Fix 55mm Filter Pack. And it's made for GoPro Hero 3, but that doesn't mean anything to us because they're just screw-on filters, and they're 55mm, which the AX53 has. What do you get in this pack? You're going to get a 55mm circular polarizer filter, which reduces glare. You're going to get a 0.6 ND filter and a 0.9 ND filter. Now, like I said, if you were to go out and buy just any one of these individually, you'd probably be looking at close to $50 for each, each lens just by itself. Like all the nice Tiffin filter sets, it comes with a little carrying case. And so there's a spot for each filter, and then there's one for the GoPro clip-on thing, which we're not going to keep in here. But I am going to keep this in here. What I want to show you guys, these filters are thin filters. And when they say thin, they really mean very thin. The circular polarizer, for example, when I put it on the front of the camera, basically it's hard to get a thumbnail on there to turn it. So they're very thin. And what happens when you put these on the front of your camera, to get them off again, you need an elastic. You've got to put this over the outside of the filter, then turn it. Otherwise, they just don't come off. I'm just going to show you guys right here with the TV. There's a really nice glare on the TV right now. And um, I want to show you what the circular polarizer does. So we're just turning the circular polarizer into place here. And as soon as it snugs up, I stop. I don't tighten it down any further. The circular polarizer is used anywhere that you want to knock down reflections. Uh, if you're shooting cars, for example, and you're getting too many reflection off of windows and things, you could use this. Water scenes, if you're shooting down at the lakefront, you could use it. Pavement, anything that's going to reflect light. If you guys watch right there, the corner of the TV, watch what happens when I turn the circular polarizer. Look at that. The glare just gets cut right down. And as you keep turning, it just goes but right back around. So you turn it until the glare is knocked off of what you're looking at, and then you just leave it set. So I'm still filming with that filter on right now, and I'll just show you guys, watch the computer screen. See? 
We can darken it right out like that, get rid of all the glare. Or you can leave it so you can read it. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to throw on one of the ND filters. I'll show you guys the difference between these two. One is a 0.6 and one is a 0.9. The 0.6 is going to knock out 75% of incoming light, okay, and the 0.9 is going to knock out 87%, so it's a little bit stronger of a sunscreen, basically. And what that's going to do, is, well, it's just going to allow the camera to hold a lower shutter speed or a lower aperture. So in that case, uh, in the case of still images, quite often you want to get uh, a moving river or something, you would put on a really dark ND filter and that would allow you to keep uh, a really slow shutter speed to show the movement in water or you would if you wanted to keep a, a, a large aperture when filming portraits or something like that then you would put on a, a really heavy ND filter and the same thing applies when shooting video. What I'm going to do is get the kids and dog to run around out in the yard and we're going to film it just with the camera on auto settings and then we're going to show you guys what that footage looks like then we're going to set the shutter speed to 1 20th with an ND filter on and film the kids and dog running around again and we'll compare those two pieces of footage to see if we can see any differences. Okay, here we are, full bright sunlight outside and the camcorder is just on auto mode. So I have no idea what shutter speed it's using, aperture or gain right now. And we're back. We've got the 0.9 ND filter on here, and I've locked the shutter speed in at 1 1 25th. Yeesh, come here. How's the autofocus working with that ND filter? No problems with autofocus. And this should look a whole lot smoother. So there you have it guys, there's the reasons why to use an ND filter set or a circular polarizer and there's never been a better time to grab the set than now as they're on sale at Henry's for 34 bucks. So thanks for watching.